Brick City Entertainment Podcast TV channel, episode 31, late night. Oh, and going three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, man, I'm up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what I'm doing in the barn. You hear me? Anyway, fair life. Fair life. Um, I'm gonna give y'all, you know, some little, little traveling rules that I went through. Well, look, I don't sell commotion and all like that, but it was a situation in the Fed And the Fed being blacks, Hispanics, when you're in the unit and the Fed and they may come in, they white, a different race, and they come in the unit. You in the cell by yourself and another race come in there. So now you in the cell for black and a Spanish guy, or you're a black and a white guy. Immediately, the white guy come get the white guy to cell, and, or, or the Spanish guy get the Spanish guy to cell because you don't, two races don't sleep with you. Be in the same cell together in the feds. That's the way it goes. And I learned that when I got there. Like, wow, okay, this is how it goes. I mean, sometimes it do happen like that. The two different races sleep with each other. Sometimes they agree with, okay, boom, it's cool, and, uh, boom, and, it, and it's fine. But majority of the time, it don't happen. Spanish sleep with Spanish. White people sleep with white. Black sleep with white. I mean, black sleep with black. Just how it goes. I mean, it was one of the rules in the feds, you know. But anyway, it was crazy because I went to county jail before I went to the FCI. Williamsburg, whatever. My first guy in Pitt County Jail, it, it was feds had to be like they had to uh, rest together too. So that the feds, this kept the feds separate from the rest of the population. So feds was in certain units in Greenville on lockdown. So when they let us out, they kept the feds together, separate from the uh, other charge, other people, other charges. Well, separate, more like, <clears throat> they kept us in one unit. But with other guys there, but Fed stayed in one different unit, and they kept us together like that. So, that's how it was. So, when they put us in the cell together, like, the two-man cells, it, it had been Fed together, whatever. Sometimes they mixed it, but majority of Fed, they put Fed together with each other. That's the way they try to keep it going, whatever. But anyway. I was in the cell. When I first got in the pit, I was in there with three people. So I had to sleep on the floor. True story. <laughs> so I first started, I'm on the floor. I never with Spanish people. They didn't care. You don't care. You put you in agreement. They didn't care. They put you in there with anybody. And it was overpopulated. So I'm in there with three people. I'm on the floor. I started from the floor. Next thing you know, boom, I ain't like, you know, people get moved, people go to court, people get shit. I ain't like getting the bottom bone, whatever. But it stayed three people the whole time, man. I mean, oh, man. Other people in the feds, you know how them violent on your, on your history. They'll let you go to, they call it the A&D, doing some more open dormitory and pit detention. But yeah, right to the captain, whatever. They won't let me down back there because of my criminal history, whatever. But some feds guy got up there, whatever. But, I ain't never tried so I was in the trenches. I mean, it was rough. Three people. We got three Spanish. We got I'm sitting two Spanish people. Me. I mean, it was it was bad. Like it was crowded. The food was slow. It was. Mm. But anyway, I stayed in Pitt County for a while, but I ended up getting in with a white dude. <laughs> this is crazy. He told me his whole case. The white dude out of out of um, he was Wimpston. And, uh, not Wimpton, Wilmington. He was from Wilmington. And, um, he went in for a pipe ball. So he was staying in an apartment. And I guess the neighbor kept making noise, being loud. I would tell him, he was a young white dude. He had up with drugs. He was like a zombie. When they gave him the drugs, he walked slow. I mean, he was, they had him doped up. I'm gonna get to that all the way. But, um, he made a pipe bomb. He said he made it. Like, you know, they get in the computer, they found how to make it. He made a pipe bomb. So, man, made a pipe bomb and threw it through the window of his of his uh neighbor apartment. 
And I know why he went to, went to Fed pick his case up. He can't make, but that's a bomb. That's, that's a, that's a, making a pipe bomb is a mandatory 30 years. You can't get no less. I'm telling you, I didn't know it, but that was his.